Hey everybody, welcome back to Gun Deals. Today we have a Colt uh, AR-15 LA CR6920. Uh, this is their first AR-15 um, that they've put back in the market since they kind of took that little break from the civilian market. So yeah, let's dive right on in. Okay, what comes with it? Uh, if you live in a free state, it comes with a standard capacity 30 round mag. It does come with a Colt manual and it comes with your gun lock as you'd expect. All right, so let's dive right on in. Uh, let's start at the back here. We have a standard M4 uh, buttstock at the back here. Um, we do have a sling attachment right here. And then um, moving down, we have a mil spec buffer tube. Um, the castle nut has been staked uh, in two places and the staking looks very, very good, very clean, very nice. Uh, moving along, we have a standard charging handle right here. And then the Magpul backup site, which works with obviously your front post here. Uh, this does come with it pre-installed, which is nice. Uh, you don't have to go and buy one. Um, speaking, since we're up the top here, we do have, this is 1913 pick rail and it stops right here. It does have your T markings. Um, we, you are kind of limited on your rail space on this. Um, so obviously you can fit a red dot um, on there just fine. You might struggle to put an LPVO mount on there just depending on the size. Um, so you are a little restricted up front here uh, for your attachments. Upper and low receiver is made of 7076 T6 aluminum, which seems to be kind of the standard for most AR-15 uh, receivers nowadays. Um, everything else on here is going to be pretty much standard. You've got your forward assist, your mag, uh, mag release right here. There is no engravings um, right here on this end. There's no engravings. On the other side, obviously, we have their safety your, and your uh, bolt catch and release. And then we have your, your Colt stamp right here. It has a little horse. It does say it's carbine. Um, and it says Colt Defense on here. And that is your up and low receiver. Uh, moving down, again, you can have that bog standard M4 uh, grip here. Um, again, functions just fine. Some people like them, some people don't, but they do function just fine. Um, then moving down to the trigger, trigger guard. Trigger guard is straight. Um, it doesn't have the curved one, which I actually prefer, but you do have a straight trigger guard and you have a mil spec trigger. Mil, straight, mil spec trigger is pulling in about uh, six, six and a half pounds um, on the pull. Um, it's it's not super, I mean, it's a mil spec trigger. It is what it is, but the pull isn't super smooth. It's it, it's okay, it's fine. The brake's pretty nice. The reset's not bad. Um, but again, it's just, it is a mil spec trigger, so it just kind of is what it is. Um, then obviously we have the mag wheel here it has been flared out slightly uh, just to make it a little easier for inserting your magazines. Okay, so moving up, this ring here is called your delta ring. Um, you can use a tool or you can use your hands to pull this down to pop off this handguard if you want to change it out or whatever you want to do. Now, one thing I did notice is the handguard is pretty beefy. Now I realize this is, you know, this is kind of a classic look and that's what they're going for. Um, but that is a pretty fat um, handguard right there. Um, now you may like that, you may not. Again, all personal preference. It's not just plastic though. You do have a heat shield on either side here to, to so when you're shooting and your barrel starts to heat up, obviously um, that's, that heat shield's in there to protect you and, and keep, uh, keep this a little cooler to keep your hands on there. Um, one of the things I've got to mention, a lot of people like to know the tolerances between the upper and lower receiver. Um, you know, is there any wiggle essentially? Um, and this does have a little bit of wiggle between the upper and lower receiver. It's not going to hurt the functionality at all. I just know some people like to know that. Um, so it does have a little bit of a wiggle. wiggle. So uh, moving on up again, we have another uh, sling attachment to go with your rear sling attachment. You have your front post, sight post right here. And, um, you know, if you're using, if you, if you like your irons, that's great. Um, I would always recommend putting like maybe a little bit of white paint on there just to help you pick up that sight just a little better. Um, now the barrel we have here is a 16 inch and it is chrome lined. It's a one and seven twist chambered in five, five, six. Now, again, if you don't, if you're not familiar with ARs too much, um, if your barrel stamp five, five, six, that's great. You can shoot two, two, three and five, five, six out of the barrel. Um, but if it is stamped just, with a 223, you cannot shoot 556 out of your barrel. So just be aware of that. Um, and then you have your bird cage on the end here. So yeah, that pretty much is the outside spec of the gun. Let me go ahead and pop out the uh, bolt carrier grip just to take a look at that. So in the back here, uh, we do have a standard H buffer and standard spring in the back there. Again, this is your, your basic charging handle that I just took out. And this is their bolt carrier grip. It is not stamped or branded in any kind of way that I saw. 
The gas key uh, staking is nice. There's no machine marks. Uh, everything looks good. Um, yeah, nothing to really report on there. So I believe back in the day, Colt used to pretty much make everything in-house. Um, I don't believe that is the case nowadays. Now, I could be wrong on some of this, but I believe that um, they're kind of doing what a lot of other gun manuf gun companies, I was going to say manufacturers, but other gun companies are doing is they're outsourcing um, a lot of these parts to be made, having them shipped in, assembling them, um, probably via Colt, and, uh, you know, for, for their assembly line, and then pushing them out. Now, I might not be 100% correct on that. It, the information was a little hard to come by. All right, so how are we shooting it? Shooting was good. Um, I had no problems at all. I shot probably, you know, quite a few hundred rounds of Wolf Gold, 55 grain through it, all brass, um, no steel or anything like that. Ammo is still a little expensive uh, to come by at the moment, so uh, unfortunately not shooting as much as I would like. Um, but yeah, everything worked just fine. I had no problems whatsoever. Um, I do like uh, the gun a lot. So let's talk about price. To get the best price on this firearm, scroll down to the description, select the UPC code there, and then enter it into Google and search. And then look for the gun deals link, which is at the top here. Click on that, that will take you to our website. Simply scroll down and you will see where it is in stock and the price. Select whatever one you would like. All right, folks, that is pretty much it. If you have any questions, any comments, please ask them below. We are always happy to help out wherever we can. If you haven't hit that like and subscribe button, please do so. It doesn't cost you a dime, but it greatly helps us out and we really appreciate it. And that's it. Until next time, we'll catch you later.